U.S. Marines flying a CH-53K King Stallion heavy lift helicopter transported an F-35C Lightning II airframe from the F-35 Integrated Test Force at Patuxent River, PAX ITF, to a Navy unit located at Joint Base McGuire-Dix Lakehurst, New Jersey, April 24. A Marine aviator from Marine Test and Evaluation Squadron 1 BMX-1 piloted the most powerful helicopter in the Department of Defense that carried the inoperable airframe which was without mission and propulsion systems, outer wings, or additional equipment, to the prototype, Manufacturing and Test PMT Department of the Naval Air Warfare Center Aircraft Division NAWCAD, Lakehurst for use in future emergency recovery systems testing. Be more available and operate longer with less logistical. The Sikorsky CH-53K King Stallion Sikorsky S-95 is a heavy transport helicopter designed and produced by Sikorsky Aircraft. The King Stallion is an evolution of the long-running CH-53 series of helicopters which has been in continuous service since 1966, and features three upgraded 7,500 SHP 5,590 kilowatts engines, new composite rotor blades, and a wider aircraft cabin than its predecessors. It is the largest and heaviest helicopter in the U.S. military. The United States Marine Corps plans to receive 200 helicopters at a total cost of $25 billion. Ground test vehicle GTV testing started in April 2014. Flight testing began with the maiden flight on 27 October 2015. In May 2018, the first CH-53K was delivered to the Marine Corps. On the 22nd of April 2022, it was declared to have passed initial operational capability. Israel has also reportedly ordered the type. Other potential export customers include Japan. The USMC had planned upgrades to retain most CH-53S, but this effort stalled. Sikorsky proposed a new model, originally designated CH-53X. In April 2006, the USMC signed a $18.8 billion contract for 156 inches CH-53K helicopters, with deliveries to be completed by 2021. 8 9 10 the USMC was to begin retiring CH-53S in 2009, and needed replacements as rotorcraft reached their structural life limits in 2011-12. CH-53K flight testing was expected to begin in 2011. In August 2007, the USMC increased the order from 156 to 227. By that time, the first flight was planned for November 2011 with initial operating capability IOC, by 2015. The CH-53K will be the USMC's heavy lift helicopter with the MV-22 medium lift and UH-1Y light lift. A 2007 RAND report on seabasing found that a higher ratio of CH-53 kS to MV-22s would reduce ship-based deployment times. In 2009, the Israeli Air Force IAF, said it would evaluate the new variant after it flies. In August 2015, it formalized a requirement for the CH-53K, listing the type as a very high priority item to enable the service to perform missions only the platform is capable of. Israel's current CH-53 inches Yasser, fleet is to remain operational until 2025. The CH-53K competed with the Boeing CH-47F Chinook for an order of approximately 20 helicopters to replace the CH-53 Yasser. In February 2021, the Israeli Ministry of Defense announced the CH-53K selection. On 31 December 2021, it was announced that Israel had signed a deal to buy 12 CH-53 kiloseconds. In August 2023, Sikorsky announced they had been awarded a contract by the U.S. Navy for 35 helicopters at a total cost of $2.77 billion, including eight aircraft for Israel. Israeli Air Force on order as of December 2021 to replace older CH-53 2025s. First deliveries expected in 2026 with all aircraft to be part of 114 Squadron Israel following reactivation of the squadron.